Hi, it's Sanford on the math. Easy solution. Turn to discuss a substitution rule for integrals and look further into it and do some examples on basically part one of this uh, example series. I'm going to go over some more examples in later videos. Basically, to quickly recap on a substitution rule, which I proved in my earlier video, and you can see that in the video link below. Basic states if u equals g of x and it is a differentiable function whose range is an interval i. Um, and basically, um, and f is continuous on, on i, then if we have something like this, basically before I get to this part, I just want to explain what this means. Basically, this is saying this, this function, you can take the derivative or differentiable, and the range i, when you plug it inside this f function right here, is basically the new domain of f, and f is continuous on wherever you exist, where, whatever the values of u are, that will be existing on it. So basically, then if you have an integral of something like this, f of g of x times g prime of x dx, then this basically just equals to, we could just substitute the u of g equals g of x inside, inside this function, and then find the derivative of it or differential, and then you could write it as uh, integral of f of u du. So uh, you can learn more of that about this and differentials in the video links below. Basically, I'm gonna go over these two examples. I'll go over example one right now, basically it states, Find integral of x cubed times cos of x to the 4 plus 2, and then uh, dx right here. Yeah, so here I've written uh, the example 1 right over here. So now the idea of the substitution rule is simplifying this uh, complex function to something simpler by basically substituting a complex part of this um, with the new variable. And in this case, as you can see, there's an inner function x to the 4 plus 2. And this is pretty much a guess, uh, guessing game, and I, I would assume uh, you would just pick, uh, change a variable of x as uh, u equals to, you substituting this x4 plus 2 as u, just because it's inside another function, which is cosine. So x to the 4 plus 2, and then work around from this. You might not always get the right, uh, right guess, but you could always go over it again and again, but it's pretty straightforward usually. So we plug that in, find a differential, that's going to be du, is derivative of x to the 4, bring the 4 down, and this can be x um, cubed, then derivative of 2 is 0, but it also this is differential, so you have to put a dx there, you can even go d over dx, and you can just multiply by dx on both sides, you get this. So we have this part, but as you can see, there's an x cubed and a dx here, so we could write this as basically x cubed <clears throat> times dx equals 2, well, du divided by 4, just take the 4 out, so now we can plug everything in. So we'll get this function equaling basically integral of cosine u. And now this x cubed times dx, that just equals to, well, du divided by 4. Or I'll just put this 1 over 4 right here. So now we can take the in integral of this one, or the antiderivative of cosine is just sine. So we can go 1 over 4. And then this is just going to be sine. Gee, whoops, uh, you, you take that integral sine out of that. This is the integral of it. So this is going to be sine u, because the derivative of sine is just cosine. And then this is going to be plus a random constant, which we always need. So we have that. And then basically, uh, from this one here, you could plug it back u inside. So we get final answer is equal to 1 over 4 times it by sine of x to the 4, yeah, plus 2 right here, and then plus c over here. And always you could uh, double check if this is correct by simply taking the derivative of this. And if you do that, you'll get, well, d over dx of... So yeah, when we take derivative of this function here, we could just take it over here. Derivative of sine is cosine. So we'll have this, well, there's a 1 over 4 right here. Cosine x to the 4... Yeah, plus 2 right here, and then derivative of c is 0, but there's a chain rule here, so we have to take the derivative of the inside function, that's just going to be, well, 4 times x cubed, and this 4 is cancel, so our final answer right here is just equal to, well, this is just x cubed, put it in front, and that's exactly what our starting integral was. Yeah, and basically that's where we're starting out, and that's a good way to check it here, I'll just box the answer right here.
So now let's go over example two, which states basically find the integral of uh, the square root two x plus one, but also it has the two parts. It says use the substitution u equals two x plus one, and then use the second one, um, u equals, I made a mistake there, so use u equals square root two x plus one right here. So use these two, and, and you'll get the same answer, but this is just to show that you could use many different substitutions. So yeah, here I've written down example two right here. Basically, uh, if we solve this using the part A, which is u equals two x plus one. If we write this, now we write the differential, we'll write basically du is equal to, well, the root of this one is just two, and then put the dx there like always, so two dx. So first thing is we gotta do first solve for dx, so dx equals two, well, du over two. So now we can plug in everything we have right over here. So we get basically integral of, um, yeah, of square root u, and now times it by this dx right here, which is just uh, du now over two right here. Also, I'll just put uh, one divided by two here. So we have this part right here, and if we take the uh, integral, that's uh, pretty obvious. We'll just have this one's gonna be, well, one over two right here times it by u of three over two. So you have to think about the antiderivative and then we always, always have to multiply by two over three, which is the opposite of this because once you take derivative, it's gonna put three over two and these will cancel and you subtract one, um, uh, two over two, then it becomes uh, square root of two. And then always plus c right here. So this uh, simplify this further, I'll just write it down here. This equals two, this two's cancel. So one over three, u three over two, and then plus c. And now we could basically uh, plug back in the u equals two x plus one. So we get answer is one over three of uh, square root two x plus one, and then three over two plus c. So this is our answer right here. And now let's look at using the same, uh, solving the same question, but using part B of it, which is u let u equals to square root two x plus one. So we're basically uh, replacing the entire uh, integral function inside. So when we have this, if we take the derivative of it, du, and then this is gonna be, well, bring this one over two, and then this is subtract the power, uh, you're just gonna get a, uh, negative uh, power of one over two, or bring it down two x plus one. Then using chain rule of the inside function, that's just times it by two x. So now these twos cancel. I mean, I'm gonna be a two, not two x. Yeah, I'll just get rid of that uh, x right there. So it'd be two right here. These cancel, so we'll be left with basically one over. Uh, no, also there's a dx like always. So one over square root two x plus one dx right here. So now if we solve for this dx, we get basically dx is equal to, well, d actually, uh, before we even get to that, as you can see here, this is square root 2x plus 1. That's just u. That's just this part right here. So we just plug that in. So this just means uh, du is equal to dx over u. So now we can solve for dx. That's just going to be u du. So now we can plug everything inside the integral. So we get basically integral of u, which is, um, yeah, so of u times and now, which is square root two x plus one times and now by dx, which is this u du. So the u du, or this equals two integral of u squared du. Let's solve the integral of this one. That's just gonna be, well, u three, and then obviously divided by three right here, and that's the antiderivative of it, plus c. So now if we plug in our function right here, so we're gonna get equals to one over three, and then plug in square root two x plus one. That's uh, two x plus one. And that's, this is, this is gonna be all cubed plus c. Again, this simplifies to basically one over three. Yeah, one over three times it by now, two x plus one, power of three over two, and this is just gonna be plus c. So we have this exact same answer as this one above, then you could always, once again, double check by taking the derivative. So d over dx of, yeah, of this, uh, this function right here, if we take derivative of it, we just put this three over two down. So that's gonna be uh, three over two, 
and then times by one over three, and then to subtract the power, so we're just gonna get square root two x plus one, and then derivative of c is zero, so these cancel, so we'll just be left with basically, but actually I'd be forget to forget the chain rule right here, so times it by, well, uh, two right here. So now as you see, these threes cancel and these twos cancel, so we'll just be left with square root two x plus one, so this is a good check of our answer, and this is basically our final answer. I'll just put this in a box right here. Anyways, that is all for today. If you learned from this uh, video and these examples, and like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another math easy solution.